it is party prepping time. My kid's birthday party is about a week and a half away. See what I could find at the discount store and I got some good stuff. Let me show you what I got. And for anyone wondering, this is what the grocery outlet bargain market looks like. Instead of a pinata this year, which we traditionally do pinatas, they decided to do kind of like a candy bar where we're going to throw candy in different bowls and then we have little bags for their friends and our family and the kids to take home. So uh, the discount store had a nice supply of candy. So I grabbed this Reese's Kit Kat combo. This was $11.99. And I'm sorry, I'm telling you, this would be five, six dollars more at Target or at the regular um, grocery stores. It's not expired. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just excess things that the that they buy from regular grocery stores that don't get sold. So we reap the benefits. I reap the benefits anyway. Um, and then I had bought one of these bags on my last trip. I guess it was like last week or a week or so ago. And I'll be honest, I ended up taking this bag to work because yes, I bribed my coworkers with candy. <laughs> this bag was $9.99, so I grabbed another bag for work, and then this bag is officially for the kids' party. So between this, the Reese's Kit Kats, and then we did get a bunch of kind of soury kind of candies and lollipops and stuff at uh, Party City when we grabbed their plates and napkins. I think we will easily have enough candy for all these kids. And then this is a fun thing to include on the candy bar. I grabbed these little Hello Panda chocolates. They're kind of like little cookies filled with kind of like a hazelnut spread, I guess. They were $3.79 each. And then if you watched my video from last week, you know that my son was really craving these peanut brownie snicker little things. And I could not find them, not only at the discount store, but at the regular grocery store either. And lo and behold, they had a whole shelf full of these. So I did grab three bags, you know, one to kind of munch on now and two others just to put down in the snack pantry. They were $3.99 each. And I'm telling you, these are normally like $6.99 at the, at the regular store. So I was thrilled to find that. And then I grabbed this little bag. Oh, no, guys, I'm looking at my little list of prices that I wrote out. I take it back. These were such a steal. They were only $2.99 and I swear they were like $5.99 if not more. I, I, I can't remember over at my giant. So these were $2.99 and then this bag of these little fun size peanut butter ones. I got those with my husband in mind. They were $3.99. So super good steal on something that my teenager will enjoy. And I grabbed a few more things. These little chocolate sticks they have the most random stuff, I, really, I swear. But these little gluten-free um, little cookies covered in chocolate. My kids do like chocolate a lot. They were only $1.99. I thought they looked good, so I figured sure. And then my son does love these little Debbie Frosted Brownies. They aren't necessarily much less expensive at the discount store than, like, say, Walmart or wherever. Um, these were $2.50. So I just grabbed those while they were there. Grabbed my daughter these little Pocky... I think these are a Japanese treat actually. Um, two more of these little Nutella things. They were like 99, they were like two for a dollar actually. Again, just a little fun treat to have on hand. Speaking of Nutella, this was $3.99, which is a pretty good deal compared to the regular stores. I don't know why it says Nutella Washington DC. It must be some special kind of promo kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, and then I grabbed a bag of these S'mores Graham Goldfish. They were $1.50 found this variety pack of goldfish. I I want to say that these were like $5.99. Um, my son really likes goldfish and I thought that those looked really good. On to some more pantry and refrigerated things. I did pick up two more boxes of this rice pilaf that was $1.99 each. I picked those up last time and I really like them. They're really good. I love rice. And then <laughs> here's back to my obsession with a few things that I am not necessarily brand particular about, but I do like higher quality. I like higher quality olive oil and I love me some good spaghetti sauce. So I grabbed a few different kinds. I wanted to really stock up my pantry a little bit instead of just going out every single week and buying things, it's exhausting, you know? So uh, I just picked up a few things that sounded good. This, let's see, Simply Natural Organic Tomato Basil. That what these were three ninety nine, 
this Yo Mama's marinara I thought looked good. Just looking over at my prices. This was $4.99. This one I thought looked interesting. Organic vodka sauce. Um, I thought that that looked pretty cool too. That was $3.99. And then this Victoria's brand I have bought from the regular store as well. I believe that this was also $3.99. Saw these as I was walking in. This Strive Mini Air Dried Beef Sticks. These were $4.99. And it said that the original price was like $13, $14. And I believe it. They really try to compare prices and make sure that they're giving accurate comparisons on the signs that they put out. So... I thought that these look good for um, my husband. He's not like a big lunch eater during the day, even though he's um, a contractor. So I thought that he could pack a few of those in his truck. thought those looked good. Uh, lo and behold, I finally found a spicy chicken ramen for my daughter. I don't know if she likes this brand. Um, I, I don't remember how much it was, maybe $1.29 or something like that. So while I saw it and then it said spicy, which is harder to find than you'd think, I grabbed that for her. Um, they had a box of this Mama Bear's Cold Care Tea. Not that my kids really drink tea, but I find that we get you know, little colds or illnesses every so often. I'm, I'm just not prepared. You know, I don't have the ginger ale, the Gatorade, the Jello. You know, I'm always running out, which should, I guess that's more typical than not. But I thought that this looked kind of good. It was only $1.99 for that. This was a really good deal. These diced pears, they were only 50 cents. I picked up JD a box of her precious Kraft Mac and Cheese Deluxe. I think I got this, I did get this at the second store. So this was probably like $2.99. Um, it was a pretty good deal. And again, I've tried to get her to eat the Annie's, the organic, the better for you. If there is any better for you <laughs> box Mac and Cheese, she wants nothing to do with it. So I grabbed that just to have in the pantry for, you know, just for lunch or for whenever. I grabbed a box of this Puffin cereal. Uh, that was $1.99. I did pick up two more boxes of Super Pretzels. I was glad that they still had these. They were only $1.99 each. Uh, this experimental thought was a total fail. The kids tried these and didn't like them. My daughter loves mangoes and I didn't go to Aldi and get mangoes this time, but I tried these I thought she might like these dried fruit mangoes. Yeah, they were a fail. And they were only like $1.50, so is what it is. But I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll come up with some way to use them. I'm not sure. Um, if you have ever seen the St. Pierre brand, these were only $1.99. You can put these in the freezer and then also reheat them in the oven. So I thought those looked good. I like the brand, like I said. So I picked up some bagels. All right, on to the refrigerator section. I don't buy these all the time because I don't really have a big freezer, but these are really, really good. I'm pretty sure Costco sells these. Um, these are the mini chicken and vegetable dumpling wontons. I absolutely love these. And they are $6.99 at the discount store. They always have them. Like there's certain things that they always have and things that just kind of come and go. So I know I can always get them there but I decided to pick up a pack of those. They had this Wallaby Organic Smooth Vanilla. Again, this one was at the second store that I went to, but it was a really good deal. It was only like $2 and it does not expire for another like two weeks. At least that's the date on the package. And my son actually asked for yogurt this time. So I grabbed that for him. They had a bunch of these naked juices. Again, I know that they're not ideal. I know homemade smoothies with fresh fruit is more ideal, but they were 67 cents each, I figured kids want to grab one. These organic mixed vegetables, they were less than two dollars, which I thought was a good deal. Grab those from the second store. I picked up our chicken for next week. It's $1.99 a pound for a big pack of chicken breast. So it was, let's see, nine dollars for about four and a half pounds. I know you guys probably think she never buys any fresh fruit or vegetables. It kind of comes and goes with that, to be honest. I always have applesauce. I'm kind of out of sorts this summer. Uh, we do eat out a lot for lunch, but the kids do eat vegetables. I promise they do. I just don't always show them, show them on my hauls. But look, lo and behold, we got carrots, 99 cents, and some mini cucumbers. I picked this, these little colliders up for my son. He likes cookies and cream stuff. It's kind of like a pudding with little toppings. Listen, these suckers are like four twenty nine in the regular in the regular store, and they usually have them. When they have them, they're only ninety nine cents. So I figured, eh, sure, why not? Grabbed a cozy shack rice pudding and chocolate pudding for my husband. They were ninety nine cents each. Haven't done orange juice for the kids in a while. Bacanas. I know it's 
probably better if you buy a big thing of it, but honestly, sometimes it just goes to waste. So this was only $1.99 for six of them. And like I said, we don't buy it often, but they do tend to eat things out of smaller packages. Shocker. That's a kid thing. So I just figured to grab them while they were there and oh, lo and behold, the body armor gods smiled upon me and they had these massive body armor lights. These are my favorite drink. Um, I mix them a little bit of them with water and I just sip on that all throughout the day. So I got literally one peach mango and about eight strawberry bananas. They were only $1.99 for the big ones. All right, on to the pricier portion of this haul. We are in my freezer, hello. So the kid's birthday party, we are doing a taco bar. And boy, was I excited. It's like it was just there waiting for me. I tried this adaptable meals um, boneless pork. I've tried it before. I grabbed one when it was like a 50% off deal over at the giant behind my house. It was the carnitas one. And oh my gosh, it was so good. It is very rare for me to buy something that is pre-seasoned like this. Yes, I realize I buy a lot of processed food and candy and junk sometimes, but I do like to cook and it's, it's just rare. One, because it's more expensive and we're not big pork eaters to be honest, but I had the idea of doing some kind of carnitas taco, whatever. So I grabbed this Santa Maria recipe, boneless pork shoulder center roast. I grabbed two of them. This one back here was like 1150 and this one was 866. So I'm also gonna do like a pulled chicken for like chicken tacos. And I thought, you know what? I know this brand, I was actually gonna look for it over at Giant and I was thrilled to see it um, at the discount store. It was $2.48 a pound. And I thought, you know what? By the time I would go to the store and actually buy pork or flank steak or skirt steak, like, or even honestly, like chuck roast for barbacoa, it's gonna be way more than $2.48 a pound. So, and I really didn't want like a huge, huge 10 pound roast or anything like that. Like I said, I'm doing chicken too. So these are like the perfect little size. So it was a little less than $20 for two of them. It's perfect size, not too, too much, may have a little bit of leftovers, but I thought that that, uh, I, that, I thought that, that would be perfect. So I did pick up the container of this Edie's Rocky Road that was on sale for $2.50. And then my daughter actually requested Lunchables for the first time in a while. I think they were like $2.99 for this little box. What I can't show you is the box of single serve pirate booty that I got at my son's request, which sometimes they like chips or Doritos, but he requested pirate booty this time. So they had one of the big like school lunch box type boxes. Pirate booty was $13.99, so maybe a little bit less than what you might might find at the regular store. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, dummy over here, when I was packing up my car, I forgot that I had left the pirate booty after I paid for it. I put it underneath the cart and totally pushed my cart. And I was just in la la land. And I was like, holy cow. Like when I was looking at my receipt, I realized that I had pretty much left the pirate booty. So here I'm thinking, there's no way that someone didn't walk off with that. Well, there are good people in the world. I called the store. The lady I talked to said, yes, yeah, someone did turn this in. And I said, okay. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm too worn out to go back to the store because it's like 20 plus minutes down the road. So I told her, I have my receipt. Can you put my name on it? And I'll be by to pick it up tomorrow. So you're not, and it says that I saved like $116.48. And like I said, with most things that I get from the discount store, I do believe it. So I'm really looking forward to having the weekend off, even though I'll be cleaning my house and cooking and getting ready for the party. I'm looking forward to just hanging out with friends and family. So if you're still here, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy hauls like this and um, weekly dinner inspiration and seasonal and holiday recipes over on the shorts, please feel free to come back again. Please feel free to come back and see me again. You can hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all again on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.